During the 2020-2021 bull run, I found myself ensnared in the exhilarating yet perilous world of cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin halving, a momentous event in the crypto calendar, loomed large, prophesied to bring untold riches. Little did I know it would also unleash something far more sinister. The Bitcoin halving is an event that occurs approximately every four years where the reward for mining new blocks is halved, meaning miners receive 50% less Bitcoin for verifying transactions. This event is significant because it reduces the rate at which new Bitcoins are generated, making them more scarce and historically driving up the market value. As a Bitcoin miner myself, the halving was more than just a market event. It was a seismic shift in my mining landscape. The prospect of earning less for the same amount of work was daunting, yet the potential surge in Bitcoin's value made it a double-edged sword. The halving represented not just a change in earnings, but a pivotal moment that could either make or break miners like me. My obsession with Bitcoin started as a harmless hobby but quickly morphed into an unrelenting addiction. The halving was my beacon, promising a surge in Bitcoin's value. As the event approached, my life revolved around the fluctuating graphs and speculative chatter. As a miner, I had a front row seat to the changes the halving would bring. I upgraded my equipment, invested every penny I had and joined mining pools to maximise my potential gains. The stakes were high and the allure of being part of this monumental event was irresistible. Then came the night of the halving. At exactly the moment the block reward halved, my screen flickered violently and a spine-chilling silhouette materialised in the digital noise. A cold dread crept over me but I dismissed it as a trick of my overworked mind. In the following days, as Bitcoin's value skyrocketed, so did my fortunes. But that eerie figure from the night of the halving began to manifest in more than just my screen. It appeared in reflections, lurking in the background, always watching, always waiting. Then came the whispers. At first they were faint, murmuring unintelligible warnings. They grew louder, more insistent, speaking of a curse born from the halving, a curse that latched onto those who dared to exploit the blockchain for greed. I tried to shake off the paranoia, attributing it to sleep deprivation and the stress of constant trading. But the entity grew bolder. One night as I was about to execute a trade, my computer screen shattered, spraying shards of glass like malevolent confetti. Blood trickled down my face, a physical manifestation of the threat that had so far been lurking in the shadows. Terrified, I scoured online forums and crypto communities searching for anyone who might have experienced something similar. I stumbled upon hidden threads discussing the halving curse, a spectral force unleashed during the halving, preying on those consumed by greed. Many had seen the shadowy figure, heard the whispers and experienced unexplainable horrifying incidents. Some had disappeared, their online personas wiped clean as if they never existed. The entity was no mere hallucination, it was a sentient, malevolent force birthed from the blockchain's depths. It fed on the greed and obsession that the bull run incited, growing stronger with each transaction, each moment of avarice. I realised I was marked by this curse. The figure, now a constant presence in my life, seemed to revel in my fear. It manipulated technology around me, sending threatening messages through my phone, turning my smart home against me. My sanctuary became a high-tech prison. The climax came one stormy night. The figure stepped out of the shadows, a digital spectre with eyes like voids, its form flickering like static. It spoke in a voice that resonated with the sound of a thousand trades, declaring that I was to be an example, a warning for the next bull run. In a desperate act, I liquidated my entire crypto portfolio, donating the proceeds to charity, severing my ties to the very thing that had brought me wealth. The figure paused, its form wavering, and with a final bone-chilling whisper, it dissipated into the air. Since that night, I've abandoned the world of cryptocurrency. The scars remain both physical and mental. As the 2024-2025 bull run approaches, I share my story as a warning. Behind the allure of digital wealth lies a darkness, a curse waiting for those blinded by greed. Beware the halving.
It's not just a shift in the market, it's a gateway for something ancient and malevolent, a force that transcends technology and preys on the greedy. The blockchain holds more than just data. It harbours a curse that can breach the physical world, bringing to life our darkest fears. Remember my tale and tread carefully, lest you too fall victim to the halving curse.